All right, I'm not going to work on my clay today. Uh, I'm going to do something else. Um, I uh, yesterday I got some new tools uh, from a company called TensTools.com, and these are just a few of them. Some of them have uh, kind of like spring wire going around like that, and these have just plain wire. And this has got spring wire here. Very small little tools there. They're all. Uh, meant for finishing and stuff like that and as I mentioned yesterday uh, Academy Award winning artists at, at uh, the uh, art departments of, of on some of the greatest movies made in the last 10 years um, have been using these tools and so I'm going to uh, try to give these a fair play today and uh, use the proper uh, stuff and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an eye and a nose you know, part of the nose but uh, I just want to see what it does as far as wrinkles on the, the clay and um, let me see and this is from Ken's tools .com. I don't know if I hit the record button or not but I must not have I apologize for that anyway I'm just uh, using this tool I got from uh, sculpture uh, depot.net to uh, press the clay in to the uh, cavity of the uh, eye socket. I'm just going to uh, put this eye lid on using the silicone tool that I got from SculptTools.com The silicone uh, tip is stiff enough that I can move things around and uh, because the silicone won't stick to uh, the clay it uh, works out pretty good. This wire coated tool. This, is, this has got a, a kind of like a spring wire all the way around the uh, loop there. And I'm just going to use this and see how this works out because I've never used this before. These are more finishing tools. This one has a rake on it so I can dig away some of the clay and shape it. Okay, I'm going to add just a little clay in here. Okay, I'm going to take some of that cellophane and put it up here and over the clay. Now, I've never done this before, so if I make mistakes, it's uh, purely because I am an amateur at this now. All right, now.
doing is I'm just jabbing this, trying to give it some kind of a texture like skin. I don't know how this is going to look. I'm just going to rub over it a little bit to smooth it out. What I'm doing is I took this uh, wire uh, wrinkle maker or finishing tool and I cut down the, the wires a little bit because it was a little long. I wanted a little stiffer and now I'm taking some sandpaper and just rounding out the edges as much as I can because these can be very sharp. That feels good now. And what I'm going to do is put this back up here. And uh, let's see how this works. Like I said, I'm just doing this for the first time, so not sure how this is going to look. Interesting. Oh, it makes a nice cross hatch. Uh, just like old skin. I think this will work out well too. I'm going to add some heavy wrinkles. I hope this is not too badly done. It is just a small part of the face, but uh, I'm going to put the, uh, I never thought of using this stuff before, this cling wrap, to uh, do things with, but uh, it really works, it's kind of nice. And I've just oiled my finger by rubbing it on my nose, and I'm just going over the cling wrap, and now I'm going to just go cross-hatching. Not overdoing it, just... Going with this, I just fill in the crevices. Yeah, I think that gives you an idea what you can do with these uh, tools. I'm just going to dig out the eyeball. tool for that. I'll 
I'll stick it in there with this. That ain't too bad. <laughs> Even if I do say so myself. <laughs> well, there you go. And uh, try it out for the first time. And uh, I'm not unhappy with it. I think, uh, you know, a little more practice on my part. And I will figure this all out really well. And I can see a lot of potential in uh, getting fine detail into a face uh, that you want to... Uh, make and uh, you know very small faces this wouldn't work as well but for larger faces I think it's gonna work out nice alright that's the video for today remember uh, go to uh, Ken tool uh, Ken tools com and check it out and see what you can find there alright